Hello there, and we're reading this book today. The book is called Animal Bites, Wild Animals. Why live there? Some wild animals live in the hot jungle. Others, called the dry desert home, still others are found at the freezing pools. Each has a special features that help it live in its surroundings, also called adaptations. Fungal food. Leafcutter ants climb high in the rainforest trees of South America to snip off pieces of leaves. The ants drag the leaves underground, and the colony feeds on the fungus that grows on as the leaves decay. Spade. The Japanese macaque lives in colder places than any other ape or monkey. A thick coat helps keep out the cold. Groups of macaques called troops also bathe in hot springs to stay warm. Hoarder. The little pika lives in cold places that don't get much rain. It prepares for the winter by stockpiling food. In summer, it works hard to gather food to store. Dropping in for dinner, the Amazon tree boa spends most of its life in the trees, where its blotchy coloring helps it blend in. When looking for a meal, the boa hangs down from a branch to snatch lizards and birds nearby. Well, wait and see. The African bullfrog survives dry periods by burrowing into the ground and sealing itself in a mucus sac that keeps it wet. The frog can stay underground for up to a year. Spe stepping out. African elephants are smart and they have long memories. This is a survival tip tool because it allows them to remember places where they have been known and recognize each other. Er, elephants they know. Poverty? Some elephants seem to enjoy being around people, but most African elephants prefer to hang out with other African elephants. Just like me. Elephants are like other people in many ways. They love their families and they enjoy playing. Infobites. Name, African elephant. Type of animal, mammal. Home, 37 African countries, all south of the Sahara Desert. Size. Males bulls are 14 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh 9,000 to 14,000 pounds, making them the largest land animals on Earth. Two pickup trucks weigh about the same. Females, cows, are smaller and weigh about half that much. And this is where African elephants live. The ears are big. The animal flaps its ears to lower its body temperature. Tusks are found on both males and females. T tusks are very long teeth. Big spongy feet support the elephant's great weight. Animals are connected in many ways, in particular by food. Some wild animals feed on seeds, berries, and plants. Others eat nothing but meat. Still, others eat both plants and meat. Here's a look at who eats what. Skilled hunters. Gray wolves are top predators, which means that few animals hunt them. They eat large hoofed animals, including elk. Even though a single wolf can take down an animal to ten times its size, wolves usually hunt in packs. Eating right. Wild animals need to eat certain foods to stay healthy. People need a balanced diet, too. Otherwise, sea otters eat smaller animals. Favorites include Crabs, clams, and other creatures that live in the shallow waters 
near the shore. Big predators such as orcas, sharks, and bears eat sea otters. Little stinkers. Skunks eat both plants and animals. They feed on fruit and roots, as well as insects and small rodents. When threatened, they raise their tails and release a foul-smelling spray. Eager beaver. Beavers are herbivores, which means they eat plants. Tree bark and twigs are favorite foods. They also like water lilies and cattails. Beavers build dams in the water to keep out predators such as coyotes and foxes. Hey, tiger, beautiful but deadly. A mere tiger stalked their prey from behind, sneaking up on their victims. They eat deer, wild boars, and elk, along with smaller prey. The, the biggest member of the cat family, a single tiger eats about 50 deer-sized animals a year. Just like me, tigers can have up to six cups in the litter. How many people are there in your family? The tail can grow up to three feet long. Fur on the feet helps keep the tiger warm in cold weather. Round white eye spots on the tiger's ears make them seem like the tiger has eyes in the back of its head. These scare off others that want to fight. The neck hair provides added warmth. The male mer is the only tiger with a mane. Info bites. Name. A mer tiger, also called the Siberian tiger. Type of animal, mammal. Home, Siberia, northeastern Russia, plus China, North Korea. Size, males average 11 feet long, including tail, which is about as long as two grand pianos. They weigh up to 700 pounds. Females are about nine feet long. They weigh about 400 pounds as much as a motorcycle. A mer tiger range. Far east of Russia. BFF wordy? No. No way. They're beautiful, but they're big. Strong hunters. A mer tigers have the strongest bite of all the big cats. The hunt is on. All animals need to eat. Each animal has its own way of finding food. Some gather grains and berries. Others hunt together or alone. Still others wait for a meal to pass by. Whale watch. Humpback whales swim below the surface and blow air through their blowholes to create a bubble net. Frightened fish are trapped in the circle of bubbles. Then the whales blast upward. Mouths wide open to gulp their meal. Gotcha. Chameleons don't waste energy on stalking and hunting. Chameleons blend into their surroundings so passing insects don't see them. And zap! It's dinner time. Gone fishing. Brown bears know how to find, how to find a good buffet. At a rushing waterfall, they wait for salmon to leap from the water, then grab a meal to go. In still water, brown bears snorkel. They put their faces underwater to look for fish. Fresh fruit. Water voles eat plants near their homes. Little hanging berries are particularly yummy. Father knows best. Mountain gorillas roam the forests of Africa. Each family made up of family, females, young males, and kids is led by a grown male called a silverback. Like a strong willed father, he guides the family in everything it does, from eating to sleeping to traveling. There are fewer than 900 mountain gorillas in the wild. Good role model? Yes.
silverbacks are bossy, but they usually lead happy, calm families. Just like me, gorillas greet each other when they meet. Sometimes they hug and wrestle for fun, just as people do. Big Teeth helped the silverback impress other gorillas with his size and strength. A silver saddle of fur develops on the male, called a silverback. Long, thick fur allows the gorilla to live in chilly mountain areas. Infobites. Name, mountain gorilla. Type of animal, mammal. Home, mountains in Africa. Size, silverbacks grow up to six feet tall, standing upright, and weigh 450 pounds. They're as tall as human dad. Females are smaller, as tall as a human teenager, and up to 300 pounds. And this is the range of the mountain gorilla. Family affair. Some animals have big families. Others mostly go it alone. Still others get together only on special occasions. Liking it. Ostriches lay big eggs. With, they weigh up to three pounds each. The males and females take turns sitting on the nest. The chicks are the largest baby birds in the world. They are about the size of a full-grown chicken when they hatch. Meerkat mob. Meerkats live together in a big group called a clan, mob, or gang. One strong-willed female leads the mob, which can include up to 50 members. Family ties. Kangaroo mothers and babies, called joeys, hug one another, just as humans do. Dance off. The male dancing frog attracts a mate with a special dance. It extends its hind leg as far as it will go and spreads its toes. The smoother dance its dance moves, the more likely it will find a mate and start a family. Backpacker. A female wolf spider is a hard-working mother. After the spiderlings hatch from their eggs, they climb onto mom's back and hitch a ride for several days. Coming clean. Whether they're going for a swim or freshening up, wild animals can be found taking a dip and splish splashing for on warm days. Swimming stripes. Unlike most cats, tigers are good swimmers. One record settler swam 18 miles in one day. Tigers can even swim underwater, scrunching up to their faces to keep water out of their eyes and noses. What's up? This duck is dabbling, nibbling on plants on the bottom of the lake. All the action is happening at the bill end of the duck. Shower power. Like you, ele an elephant bathes to stay clean. It rolls in water and uses its trunk to shower. After the bath, the elephant covers itself in dust and mud, which helps it Protect it from the sun. Keep it cool. Whee! Dolphins are great at doing tricks. They somersault, jump, and flip just for the fun of it. Stepping out. Water striders walk across the calm surface of ponds and lakes, eating insects that fall into the water. Strider is able to stay on the surface thanks to special hairs on its feet. The hairs trap air bubbles allowing the insect to float on the top of the water. Pretty in pink. You are what you eat. Flamingos prove it. They eat algae and tiny shrimp that contain a substance called beta carotene. This is also found in carrots. It turns the bird's feathers pink. Don't they wear the color well? Run, lizard, run! When the when green ballisk lizards are startled, they race to the water's edge and dash right across the surface. 
They can run on water for about 15 feet before starting to sink. Fortunately, they're strong swimmers too. Pet worry? Yes and no. For some people, keep these lizards as pets, but they can be nervous. Plus, in captivity, they never get to show off their running on water skills. The crest on their head is larger in males than females. A large crest helps attract the mate. Scales on the back toes spread out when it's time to run on water. The feet form pockets of air as the lizard runs. The bubbles help keep it from sinking. Just like me. Longer lizards run on wa water more often than older ones do. Do you run around more than your mom and dad? Info bites. Name. Green mollusk lizard. Type of animal, reptile, home, Central America. Size, up to 30 inches long. Mostly tail and 8 ounces. That's the length of, a, of three hot dogs. Wow. Water, water everywhere. Some animals live in or near water. From salty oceans to freshwater lakes and streams. And many animals hunt for tasty food in watery habitats. Cool customer. A hippo spends two-thirds of its time in water. Always in freshwater rivers and streams in Africa. A hippo can't sweat, so it needs to stay in, in the water to stay cool. All in the name. The marsh rabbit is a strong swimmer. It lives near the water from... In soft wetlands called marshes to flooded fields. It finds lots of plants to eat near the water. Hooked. Ospreys are known for eating fish. They are nicknamed fish hawks. They don't need a fishing pole. With their talons outstretched, they fly low over the water and hook a tasty treat. Fearsome fly. The dragonfly gets its name because it behaves fiercely, like a dragon. It skims over the water or ponds, hunting for small insects. Mosquitoes are their favorite treat. Deep breath. Oysters live in areas where the tide comes in and goes out. During low tide, an oyster closes its shell and holds its breath. When the tide comes in, the oyster uses its skills, similar to the way fish breathe. Crocodile smile. The saltwater crocodile lurks under the surface. It waits until an animal comes close to the water's edge to drink. Then, splash, it makes its move. It eats anything it can catch, from water buffalo to turtles and even sharks. Just like me. Saltwater crocodiles are strong swimmers. They make use of the tides, body surfing over them during long trips. Lunch date word wordy? Only if you're willing to be lunch. The salt saltwater crocodile swallows small prey whole. It holds larger prey underwater until the victim drowns. And then, chomp! The eyes are protected by... A see-through covering when open underwater. The long snout is full of pointy teeth. Powerful jaws can put as much as two tons of pressure on the victim. Short legs and, and in web feet with claws that are used to grab prey. The muscular tail moves side to side. It helps the crocodile push itself forward to catch prey. Info bites. Name, saltwater crocodile. Sometimes called estuarine crocodile. Type of animal, reptile. Home. Coastal areas and islands between northern Australia and southeast Asia in the Pacific region. Size. 
Whales are between 17 to 20 feet long and weigh between 1,000 and 2,000 pounds. That's about as heavy as a small two-seater car. Ma females, much sm smaller, are usually under 10 feet long and are about 220 pounds, as much as a human dad. And that's the saltwater crocodile range. The stack up, Jackson's chameleon, up to 18 inches and one pound. Talent, impersonation, three horns protrude from this chameleon's head, making it look like a tiny dinosaur. It uses them to battle or territory or a mate. Eastern blue tongue skink, up to 22 inches and two pounds. Talent, stylishness. This skink, which is a type of lizard, uses its most color asset in self-defense. When threatened, it opens its mouth wide and sticks out its tongue, hoping to scare off a, the predator. Gila monster, up to two feet long and two pounds. Talent, chewing. The gila monster is venomous. It bites into victims, then holds on and chews. Venom dribbles through grooves in the lizard's teeth and it, into the prey. Water monitor, up to six and a half feet long and 110 pounds. Talent, scary as all get out. The water monitor hunts on land, in trees, and in water. It smells prey with its forked tongue. When it spots a victim, it uses the powerful legs to run fast and catch it. Komodo dragon, up to 10 feet long and 150 pounds. Talent, fearsomeness. A Komodo dragon eats almost anything it finds. It thrives on carrion, the bodies of dead animals, but it will hunt live prey, too. The Komodo dra dragon's saliva contains deadly bacteria, which may help kill its victims. Seasonal Specialists Water can be challengeable. Depending on the season and the region, wild animals have many ways of coping with the changing seasons. Shiny and new. When summer comes to the Arctic, the beluga whale moves to warmer waters and sheds its thick winter skin. This is called molting. It rubs against the gravel seabed to remove Old yellowed skin. Mutters teach their calves where the good melting spots are. Headed south. When the winter gets chilly, monarch butterflies instinctively know that it's time to head south. Monarchs are the only butterflies that migrate. They fly as far as 3,000 miles to get to their winter homes. Deep sleep. When winter approaches, the grizzly bear climbs into its den and saves energy by hibernating up, up to six months. Hibernation is like a long, deep sleep. When spring arrives and food becomes available, the bear emerges. Nap time. The hedgehog is small and it isn't tra able to travel long distance to find warmer weather in winter. It saves energy by becoming inactive for several days or weeks at a time. This is called torpor. Time out. The fat-tailed dwarf lemur lives in the forest of Madagascar. In the dry season from March to November, the lemur goes into its den and becomes inactive. During this time, it is called estivation. The lemur lives off of the fat stored in its tail. Estivation is like a short hibernation.
grin and bear it. Grizzly bears have the life. These North American brown bears are active for about half the year, hiking, exploring, digging, and fishing. As soon as food becomes scarce, they climb into their dens and start hibernating, sleeping up until the warm spring weather returns. Snuggleworthy? Everyone loves a teddy bear, but a grizzly bear is way too fierce to cuddle with. Just like me, like fishing, grizzly bears will wade right into the water to catch their fill up to 30 fish in a day. Wow. Info bites. Name, grizzly bear. Type of animal, mammal. Name, home, North America. Size, males are 5 to 8 feet long and weigh between 350 and 800 pounds. Females are smaller, weighing between 250 and 600 pounds. Standing upright, they're as tall as that basketball hoop. And that's the grizzly bear range. The fur ranges from blonde to almost black, plus gray and silver. The hump on the back is the bear's shoulder muscles, which can, which are so strong that the bear can open, rip open logs. The nose can pick up the scent of food from miles away. Moose tracks. Moose usually live near lakes, ponds, or streams. Like you, they cool off in hot water. This cow and her calf might stay in water for most of the day. Friend me, wild animals have social ne networks, such as people do. Different animals relate to their family members and others in the group in different ways. An ant's life. Ants are social insects that live in highly organized colonies. Each colony has one queen, much larger than the others. Her job is to lay at eggs. Female workers tend to be the queen, gather food, maintain the nest, and look after the young. Males caught drones mate with the queen. Hey, bro. Lions live in groups called prides. Lionesses look after one another's cubs and do most of the hunting. An adult male guards the pride, often joined by one or a few male relatives. This group of males called a coalition. Herds in the hood. Gazelles are small, fast, and live in herds. A young male, or I mean female, will join her mother's herd and a male will live alone or join an all-male bachelor herd. A flick of the tail or stomp of the feet warns others of predators nearby. Birds of a feather. Zebra finches live, are social birds that live in large flocks up to 100 birds. They travel together in search of food. Only the males can sing. And look at that group. Up in the air. Bats. Bats spend much of their time hanging upside down from their perches. They drop down and spread their wings to take flight. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Greater horseshoe bat, apple blooded fruit bat, Egyptian fruit bat, tent making bat, greater mouse eared bat, and the variable flying fox. Birds. Different birds have different ways of flying. Some count on air currents, while others, like hummingbirds, flip their wings. I mean, flap their wings rapidly to hover in place. The Norn Cardinal, the Greater Hestral, the Jackal Buzzard, the House Sparrow, and the Atlantic Puffin. The bold and the beautiful. 
Bald eagles are birds of prey and highly skilled hunters. They are often found near lakes, rivers, and coastlines where food is plentiful. These majestic birds are only type of eagle to live solely in North America. They're the symbol of the United States. True romantic? No. Love is in the air. During courtship, a male bald eagle will hold talons with his beloved as they cartwheel through the sky. Just like me. Eagle parents work as a team. Together, they build a nest for their lung. Humans, too, build homes for their families. The head is covered in white feathers. A bald eagle isn't really bald. The eyesight is amazing. The eagle can spot prey far below as it flies overhead. The hooked beak tears apart prey, such as fish, rodents, and dead animals. Claws and talons make it possible for the eagle to snatch fish right out of the water. And look at that. Info bites. Bald eagle, type of animal, bird, home, most of North America. Size, wingspan is 68 feet. And weight is six and a half to 14 pounds. Two children with arms outstretched have about the same wingspan, and that is the bald eagle range. In the mountains, high in the Andes Mountains of South America, many people live as their ancestors did hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Some raise domestic animals, others grow crops, and some weave beautiful fabrics. Family portrait. Alpaca wool is woven into fabric. When it is dyed bright colors, it can be used to make these traditional costumes. An alpaca, a puppy, and a parrot is... An alpaca, a puppy, and a parrot round out this Peruvian family portrait. Can you spot the parrot? Hint. Are this all flowers on the young girl's hat? Harvest time. Salt has been used, been harvested for hundreds or of years in Peru at places called salt flats. Here, shell water is heated by the sun. It evaporates the, the way a puddle on a street dries up on a sunny day. The salt left behind is gathered by hand. Useful llamas. Llamas are hardy animals that thrive in the high mountains. They're kept as pack animals and for the wool, which can be woven into blankets or rugs. Warm and wooly. Vacunas are wild re relatives of alpacas and llamas. They were once hunted for their thick coats. Today, they are rounded up and gently clipped in a special yearly ceremony. Underwater breeder. Weighing in at about two pounds, the Titicana water frog is the largest frog that lives underwater. It breathes through its skin, which absorbs oxygen from the water of the Andean Lake it's named for. Hello up there. Peaceful giraffes bur browse for leaves, buds, flowers, and fruit, often in acacia trees, which are their favorite. Giraffes reach way, way up into the trees to forage, then stretch their long tongues higher still as they search for tasty tidbits. Giraffes are usually silent, but they hum quietly at night. No one knows yet if their hums mean anything to other giraffes.
Midnight movie wordy? No. Giraffes need only about half an hour of sleep every 24 hours. This would be perfect companions at the late, late show if only they fit in the movie theater seats. Just like me, giraffe spots are like human fingerprints. They're unique to individual gi to each individual giraffe. Long necks make it easy to reach food and trees. Males also hit each other when they with their necks when they fight. Little horns with fur show this is a female. Male horns are bald. There are seven neck buttons, just as in an almost all mammals. A giraffe's bones are just bigger. Infobites. G name. Giraffe. Type of animal. Mammal. Home. Africa. Size. Males are up to 18 feet tall and 3,000 pounds. Females are up to 14 feet tall and 1,500 pounds. That's taller than a one-story house. Okay, so now I'm going to end this video. Go watch part two, okay?